In this example, we're looking at bases and transition matrices. We're given a vector space V spanned by the vectors sine x and cos x. And in the first part of the problem, we want to show that the vectors 2 sine x plus cos x and 3 cos x form a basis for V. So first note that the dimension of V equals 2 since P prime has two vectors, it means that we need to show either that V prime is linearly independent or that it spans V. Let's show linearly independent. Consider a linear combination of the two vectors. So A times 2 sine x plus cos x plus B times the second vector 3 cos x. Equate that to 0. Rearranging implies that 2A sine x plus A plus 3B cos of x equals 0. And since B is a basis, we know that sine x and cos x are linearly independent, which means that 2a equals 0 and a plus 3b equals 0. And these both imply that a equals b equals 0. So we've shown that b prime is a basis for v. In the second part of the problem, we want to find the transition matrix from B to B prime. This means that we want to write the old vectors, so Fi's, in terms of the Gi's. So let's go ahead and do that. Note that F1, which is equal to sine of x, is equal to 1 half of 2 sine x plus cos x minus 1 over 6 times 3 cosine of x, which is equal to 1 half of g1 minus 1 over 6 g2. And for f2, which is cosine of x, this one's easier. This is just equal to 1 over 3 times 3 cosine of x, which is equal to 1 over 3 g2. The transition matrix then is just the columns with the coordinate vectors. So f1 in terms of b prime and f2 in terms of b prime, which is equal to 1 half minus 1 over 6 0 and 1 over 3. Part C of the problem is even easier given part B. So we want the transition matrix from B prime to B. But remember that the transition matrix of B prime to B is just the inverse of the transition matrix from B to B prime. And that simple computation gives 6 times 1 third, 1 over 6, 0, and 1 half, which we can simplify to 2, 0, 1, and 3. In part D, we're given the vector h equals 2 sine x minus 5 cos x. And we want to calculate the coordinate vectors in terms of the basis B and B prime. So in terms of the basis B, this is relatively simple because H is equal to 2 times F1 minus 5 times F2, which means that the coordinate vector in terms of B is just 2, negative 5. The coordinate vector h in terms of b prime, instead of doing it the same way, let's remember that we have the rule that h in terms of b prime is equal to the transition matrix from b prime, sorry, from b to b prime times the coordinate vector in terms of b. So that gives us that this is equal to one half 
minus one six zero one third times two negative five which is equal to one negative two. So we have that the coordinate vector of h in terms of b prime is equal to one negative two. And we can verify this by noting that h is equal to two sine of x plus cosine of x minus two times three cosine of x, which is just equal to g1 minus 2 g2, which is exactly what we got when we calculated it the previous way.